Shout to the Lord, all the earth, let us sing. Power and majesty, praise to the King. Nothing compares to the promise I have in you. Greetings, bro brothers and sisters from sunny Southern California. I have some announcements for you first. Thank you for participating during the National Day of Prayer. I saw many of you during the Zoom meetings. That was nice to see you. Second, men's, men's virtual breakfast. We are going to have one on Saturday, May the 23rd at 8.30 p.m. You already received an email. Please answer the, the question there, and uh, we will know whether you're going to participate or not. It's going to be on uh, over Zoom. But guess what? We need to know exactly how many people will be attending. Third, you will be receiving, all the families will be receiving an email with about a 10 question survey. This is to help us with the preacher search process. So please answer those questions as soon as you receive them. And fourth, but not last, let me remind you that we are still looking forward to getting together at our church building. We are getting prepared, we're, we're working on it, and we're just waiting for the, as soon as the government tells us that it's okay to get together safely, we will be doing that. But while we're doing that, you will know that during this isolation, during this pandemic, there is illness, there is sickness all around, and we might feel anxious, especially now that the economy is not doing that good either, okay. So there is reason for being a, feeling anxious, maybe depressed. And by the way, being, f feeling anxious is not a sin. Uh, in fact, I would like to remind you that God's, God knows about our, our anxieties. We all remember Philippians 4, 6, where it says, don't be anxious about anything, but in all so and so, right? I don't need to tell you that scripture, we already know it by heart. But I would like to share with you some new for me and this is from Psalm 9419 Psalm 9419 says when anxiety was great within me your consolation brought me joy well let me read it with the New King James Version translation in the multitude of my anxieties within me your comforts delight my soul you see God is there with us during those times of anxiety. So just remember that, and if you feel anxious, again, meditate in God's word, meditate in God's promises, and you remember that every morning is a new day. Remember that song? The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Sorry for my singing, I am not that good, but that comes from Lamentations 3, 22, 23. Lamentations 3, 22, 23. The steadfast love of the Lord. Steadfast, unwavering, dependable, immovable, firm, loyal, reliable, constant. That is God's love. And then he says, mercies. I like what the King James Version translates that word. He says, compassions. The mercies, the compassions of God are new every morning. They never cease. They are with us. So have a nice week. Have a nice day. Always, always remember God's promises. Blessings. Shout to the Lord on the earth. Let us sing. Power and majesty, praise to the King, nothing compares to